Saint Monica was born on 331 AD in Thagaste. She was an early Christian saint and mother of Saint Augustine. She was the eldest among the children of Christian parents. They were raised with discipline. Monica and her sisters were raised by an elder servant. Monica's parents would ask her to bring wine from the cellar for them. Monica would take a sip of the wine. After that, she gradually began to drink just a little more each day. She thought no one saw her, but the elderly servant caught her. Monica quarreled with the servant. The servant accused Monica for drinking too much. Monica realized the servant was right. She decided to stop drinking. When she grew up, she got married to Patricius, a pagan with a violent temper. Her mother-in-law, also a pagan, usually sided with Patricius and told lies to the servants about Monica, who met all their insults with silence. Monica remained patient, so they don't like Monica. Women who had marriage problems came to Monica for advice. Slowly, Monica's prayers were answered and transformed Patricius into a kind and patient person. A year before Patricius died, he was baptized. After their marriage, they produced children, Augustine, Navigius, and Perpetua. Her eldest, St. Augustine, was born on November 13, 354 AD. He was not baptized. Augustine and his brothers were gifted with a mother who always talks about the Word of God. Monica got widowed at the age of 40. Her biggest source of worry was her son, Augustine. He rejected the faith that his mother gave him. He became a machia and lived in a dissolute life. Monica refused to let Augustine live in her home. Augustine had a wife and a son but was not married. Back to Monica's home. In a dream, it was revealed that Augustine would come back to the faith. Augustine tells us that Monica shed more tears for my spiritual death than other mothers shed for the bodily death of a son. Monica prayed for Augustine for 17 years. At the age of 29, Augustine moved to Rome to teach rhetoric. Monica tried to accompany Augustine, but Augustine tricked her and sailed alone, but Monica followed him. Augustine had left to Milan where he was offered a chair in the record. When Monica arrived in Rome, Augustine had already left. Monica followed him again. When Augustine arrived in Milan, he paid a courtesy visit to Bishop St. Ambrose. Augustine loved the bishop as his father and went every Sunday to hear Ambrose as he preached. When Monica arrived in Milan, her first visit was also St. Ambrose. Monica became his faithful disciple. Monica and Augustine began to attend Masses together. Monica studied philosophy and theology so she might able to deal intelligently with Augustine. Augustine was really frustrated. He has help from God. He fully embraced the church teachings, but he felt impossible to detach himself from sins. He was in the garden when he heard a child's voice and implored him to pick up and read the copy of the sacred scripture. Augustine opened the book to St. Paul's letter to the Romans, which states, Augustine got baptized by St. Ambrose on Holy Saturday, 387. Monica told Augustine to be a Catholic and faithful servant of God before she dies. On Monica's last hour, Augustine asked Monica to bury her body next to her husband. Two weeks later, Monica died at the age of 56. Augustine was then 33. The feast day of St. Monica is on August 27, which is the day before St. Augustine's feast day. She is the patron saint of mothers and wives.